I was about to say like, we're back, but we are in this room all day, every day, because this is our office. So yeah. we didn't go anywhere. No, we didn't. Not at all. But you did. But yeah, it's actually your fault. Where'd you go? Hey. Where did you come from? That's your your fault, <laughs> not not ours, and that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. No, um... This is kind of our first video on this channel, actually. So it's good. It's good that we started out with, like, this fresh start, clean slate. Um, blame the viewer. Yeah. Good. It's good. I hope you're all proud of yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're... I hope you're pleased with what you've done. So I just um, came off, like, a three-week, like non-stop work stint longer than three it's been longer a month than, it's been a it's, it's been, been a, a month full month of a full gregorian calendar month and uh half of me is a sorry because i really didn't want to work at all just kidding i love to work maybe too much but i was really really busy and so life happens and life comes at you fast on this b of an e we <laughs> <laughs> we created a new channel, um, and I think, like, we could have really just kept not posting on it. <laughs> that would have been great, actually. Which I kind of love oh, yeah. as a concept. Next time. Next, next channel. Just next, next channel. channel? Okay, yeah. perfect. Just really... <laughs> we just, just keep starting channels, and then we yeah, don't post on them. just not post on them. Yeah, but, like, you know, it's, it's hard. You all know. It's the holidays, so for freelancers, it's like... Every, you get it's, you get smacked. You get smacked right in the yeah. face, and so I was working supremely busy hours, and then of course because it's the holidays, and I'm not complaining when I say this, my uh, store was really busy, so I was super busy doing that. The, here's the thing, the, the, the I'm long glad short, it was yeah. busy. No, the work, the paid work became the priority. The paid work, and we the love priority. doing these. Yep, but. But we're back now. Yeah, we're back now. That's what we'll say for the um, next video, too. Yeah, Two exactly. Two months later. No, we'll be, be all right. Fun. I mean, once we get into surgery stuff, that might happen. Oops. But, um, yeah, so we're back. It's been, a, it's been a wild month. Oh, I want to say something since we talked about the shop stuff. Oh, sure. Um, there's been a Canada Post strike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to mention this only because there have been emails, people, like, reaching out about yeah. where their orders are. All There's the, been a Canada Post strike. And all the orders are out. They're yeah, all shipped. Everything that's yeah. been ordered from my store has been shipped and sent out like a while ago. But because Canada Post was on strike, things are have been delayed and it's completely out of my control. And, and we're we're sorry. It's I know especially like coming from America, we're used to very fast post. Yeah. Even when it's crappy, you're used to getting things much faster. In Canada. When things are running smoothly, our post is not nearly as fast. Mm -hmm. So, kind of, it's people been, have been really nice about people it. People have been. I think that pretty I'm just, much yeah, everybody. I'm oh, please go ahead. No, I was just I only brought it up to so that if folks are anxious about that oh, or if they have oh, ordered something oh. that they know it is coming, it's gonna get there. Yeah, it just is taking longer because you know the union was fighting really hard, yeah. and I we're in full support of that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. but people yeah. have been pretty patient people i think they understand chill. that yeah. like i as an artist can only do so much <laughs> like i'm not walmart i can no. only control what i can control and anyway anyway so we've been really it's been that yeah and i mean you you have had the store has been very busy for you which is great and i'm really um, happy you've had a lot of other like serious projects mm -hmm. um, i've been doing a lot of work for cbc again and those, that stuff's going to be, well, one's up, another one's going to be up soon. Yeah. Yeah. You've been very busy. Also, we've had a really exciting, um, new venture in our lives, which is... Oh, your couch. It's not my couch. I know I've been referring to it as my couch, mm -hmm. kind of as a joke. You know how bridezillas go, it's my wedding! That's kind of how I've I'm been about I'm not familiar with that. Well, because I'm not a bridezilla. And neither are you. Oh, so okay. it's, it was a really chill time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, basically, Cyber Monday happened. And, <laughs> no, I should back up. I'll go a little further back. So, for the past six or so months, I've been looking online for a new couch for us nonstop. Because I'm supremely picky. And we need a new couch. Mm -hmm. Not so much just a new couch, just a couch at all yeah we um, didn't we've never had a couch we've never had we've a had two chairs pushed together with um just fleece throws on them yeah basically i got these two chairs 
secondhand, as most of our stuff has been, and they worked just fine. Um, you know, I can't complain about no, they, two chairs they, that we had. They were good but for sitting. They, but they really needed, their time was up, and we really have always wanted to have a couch that we could curl up and watch a movie on, so there was a really good deal. Mm -hmm. And Cyber it's Monday. a nice pull-out couch, mm -hmm. um, and it's nice, and it's good, and we ordered it a while ago, and just like I was saying, this is a perfect segue, Canada Post's backlog has kind of impacted other third-party carriers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so something that was supposed to arrive December 1st is not here yet and it'll come here when it comes. It will. It'll never come. It, it, it's never going to come. It's this double-edged yeah. thing where like, I am so patient and so sympathetic and I actually don't, I'm not upset that the couch still isn't here. I'm more of just like, it keeps telling us on the tracking that yeah. it's going to arrive a certain day and then it doesn't come. And then I'm just like, well, where is, it keeps breaking like, its promises. That's too. that's what it is. Yeah, I'm not robot. mad to be patient. No. I'm so patient, but it just keeps saying it's going to be there by 8 p.m. and then the day just goes and it's not here. And I've been tweeting about Couch Wash 2018 mm -hmm. a lot. I'm very excited about this couch that we got such a good deal. Theoretic, oh, the theoretical, the theoretical couch. couch. Yeah, if it comes, if and if it comes, yeah. if and when it no, comes. no, if when it's just if it comes, yeah. Are you excited about the couch? I am. I mean, I think actually at this point, I don't, I'm detached from it at this oh, point. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Where like, I have You're no, protecting yourself. I have, yeah, exactly. I have mm -hmm. no feelings until it's here. I can't even imagine what I'll feel. Probably so overwhelmed. I'll cry. You'll just, I'll you'll be, just yeah. be on your knees like, I didn't think this day would come. I'll cradle it somehow. I'll find a way to cradle it with my big, long arms. <laughs> my big, powerful arms um yeah so so that's been my life this mm -hmm. couch I'm so excited about this yeah I can't wait to sit with you mm -hmm. and you and maybe we'll make our videos there when it comes you've been wanting you've been talking that up you're like I want to make videos on the couch so when that comes there'll probably couch be talk. couch talk exactly I'll mm -hmm. be very quaint very mm -hmm. nice um very comfy you're saying it's so condescending <laughs> I honestly, you it'll know, be that's really nice. And that's it'll be, it'll be great. Everyone will have fun. I'll love it a lot. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I I can't like it is actually a problem that every now and then I think I accidentally slip into condescension. Sometimes you just don't emote. You'll just say the words. Yeah. Well, I think I'm just like dead inside a okay. little bit, okay. which is which leads me to talk about my last. <laughs> My month. Go on. Yeah. I what mean, a segue that was. No, I mean, uh, we talk about mental health issues sometimes. Um, I want to be fully transparent. I am someone who lives with anxiety and um, lives with post-traumatic um, stress. And, uh, like, those are, I think, terms that, like, they get thrown around, around a lot on, like, Twitter and online, and, like, they, it's it kind of, sometimes they get divorced from the reality of, um, you know, living what, what, them. what it is like to live with them, and I'm not saying that, you know, people using them aren't living with them, it's just something, you know, you, we hear about it a lot, sure. um, and it's kind of, it can be hard to talk about, um, so I've been, I've been having a really rough time, mm -hmm. um, with my own mental health, um, so just like the last couple of weeks, it, oh, at least it's been like yeah, it's been it's been a hard go for me. So like, I've just been having a hard time doing the basic things I need to do for mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just this thing of um, you were extremely busy, and I was when I had time to do stuff was. No, you know what I mean? Like, mm. ne neither of us was going to be doing anything. I mean, I'm so grateful to you because while I was so busy, you were definitely taking care of all of the immediate things around the house that, like, needed, like, buying groceries and doing laundry. You were doing those things for us, which was so helpful to me because, like, I was so in my reign of, like, my flashing red lights of what had to be done for specific deadlines that I was not taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Other than what needed to be done. Yeah. And I'll always take care of you in those, those situations. Like I think it actually even helps to kind of have a, yeah, thing that have like a pinpoint. Exactly. Yeah. And almost kind of distract <laughs> from, 
What's going on? I don't have to take on? care of myself because yeah. I can take care of somebody I else. I mean, I guess. I'm sleeping now. That's good. So that's really cool yeah. to be sleeping. Um, if you don't sleep, it sucks. And some of you may know that. Is mm-hmm. like, that really adds up. And I'm not that's just... part of depression, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's part of a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> but like when you're not, when you're chronically not sleeping. It messes you it, up in it, such yeah. a huge way. Yeah, it like, gives you up real big. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and um, that's that. Maybe I'll talk more about those things at some point, but, like, just kind of that's been not easy. No. And, um, I'm really proud of you, though, because you've been doing... You haven't been, like, canceling any of your appointments that you need to do. Like, yeah. you've still been, like, going and doing the things Which that are appointments. Which is so, so difficult because, like... Yeah. It's, it's been barely, I've been barely able to do that. You know what I mean? I know. Um, so, and like, there definitely have been parts of my life that I've had to just be like, okay, well, I can't do this. You know what I mean? There's been a lot of that. Um. But you're doing those things. Like, I'm not trying to say that. Yeah. You you know, it's not hard. It's so hard for you, but you've still been doing them. Mm -hmm. Certain things. I'm really proud of you for that. Thank you. I'm really proud of you for working so, so dang hard. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, so here we are, um, and like, yeah, we tend to, like, sometimes... By we, the grace of God. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes we talk about, like, heavy stuff, but yeah. it's important to talk about real things that are going on in our mm-hmm. lives, and, because they're going on in other people's lives, you know? For sure. Um, so, that's kind of been my month. Played some video games. Smash came out, Smash and so did out. Let's Go. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. We were gonna stream Let's Go a lot more than we did. We're gonna still stream... Let's go. A lot, um, yeah. But instead Let's of starting... Let's go has been my little, like, bedtime yeah. game. You'll like, be in bed playing Like, basically, when I, I have my shower and I go to bed, and then for, like, half an hour before I go to sleep, I've just been playing Let's Go, and it's been, like, a little cool down for me from work. It's been nice. I'm, I'm not far in that game. I only well, have you're, my, like, fourth I'm, badge. There are eight badges, so you're halfway in. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of that game is the after yeah, the I mean, adventure. I don't Do you know, know what I mean? I don't know if, like, Maybe Red and Blue so had too much. Yeah. I think, like, once you kind of get Where to the Elite Four. I don't know. Oh, she's in her bed. Look at her. She's very cute. They girl. can't do that, though. They can't look at her. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I have to tell you, this is not to do with anything, but last night, I, wanted, I had... Oh, the, yeah. You do that. I was going to try and plug your video about when you start playing Pokemon Go. Oh, that's nice. That's do where that. I was going to... Yeah. Good. No, I was just going to say, as we talked about playing it from the beginning with sure. everyone, we're not going to do that. We're going to play we're from where playing, we are. We're just playing, yeah. But if you do want to see the start of her adventure, mm-hmm. I made an ASMR video about it. That's all. I just wanted to, like, get that's that in so there. That's so nice Yeah. You. Shout out to that channel. <laughs> yeah, so go click that. <laughs> this is just now go talk con- about go talk about it's Dawn. It's so goofy, but last night and Dawn always sleeps with me, and she usually sleeps on my chest, like right here. But last night she like got so 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 close and had her cheek resting against my cheek and was like laying flat out like a long spaghetti noodle along my body. But then she had her cheek against my cheek, and I like was in the pose and I went really quietly. I was like. Nico. And you were like, what? And I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just there like, prote- I didn't want to move because it was so good. You both so fell lovely. asleep that way. We both fell yeah. asleep that way. It was lovely. I remember just feeling so content. It was really cute. I love those cats. They're very good. They're, they're very, the they're both very snuggly. Mm-hmm. May also does like, she doesn't lay flat no. on me. And which is good because I probably wouldn't like that. No. What she does is she just curls up next to my head. Yeah. Um, Sometimes she wakes you up in the night and, like, meows yeah. at your face. Yeah. And then is like... Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> basically to wants down. to make sure, like... Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. She does She does a check-in. Yeah. Um, Sometimes Dawn sneezes in my face to wake me up. Yeah. I don't care for that too much at all. She does sneeze on you a lot. Yeah. Because her face is always near my face. Mm-hmm. And then she does her little cat sneeze, which is... And then you eat those cat buggers. I just always go, no. <laughs> you love it. You I love, love that she's you my You love baby. those cat boogers. They're very good. That's a nice little precious moment you and Don have. Precious moments? Yeah. The Funko Pops of our parents? Nice. You know what's... Bam! Got them. Yeah. Take that, boomers. I don't know. <laughs> take... It was more of an insult to us, really, as millennials. I mean, it would be if we owned Am I Funko a millennial? Pops. Or... I... 
Are you a millennial? I Am I a millennial? You are definitely no, a millennial. Am I? Okay. Yep, because it goes till. It's always it my get... sister is even technically a millennial. I okay, think, so... I know it's like in the eighties yeah. is when it started. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'm never sure if I'm like. I don't, I'm just I'm not Gen X though because I'm yeah. so much younger than you. Right. <laughs> uh, I think you are a millennial. I think I'm a millennial, yeah. but uh, like just. Yeah. I think I'm just. But anyhow. Funko Pop. We, sorry, you just dunked on a I billion people. I'm sorry. A lot of people. The most, I say it with love. The most popular thing. I'm saying it with love. Yeah. Okay. That's how I feel. That's fair. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like the, the precious moments, though, mm-hmm. are not going to be Funko Pops as much as they are going to be, like, just just the titty anime statues. Oh, okay. Like, sure. Like, it, that's Grandpa's collection yeah, of it's mid- like we don't, I'm going to sell we don't these touch one day those. Yeah. after Grandpa passes. Exactly. Or Grandma. Mm-hmm. Let's not. I'm so sorry. Yeah. That was so... It was weird How of you. progressive. It was weird of you. <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. This is a really serious question. hmm Which of these two Christmas movies do you prefer? Love Actually or... A Christmas Prince 2, A Royal Wedding. Oh, easily A Christmas Prince 2. Really? Yeah, I I didn't, like, I had fun watching that. Okay. I was miserable wow. watching Love Actually. Yeah, you did hate that. Yeah, I mean, I hated both of them. Yeah, but... I, we watched a bunch of really bad Christmas movies that I've never seen before. Now, don't leave a comment saying that you love both of them, or one of them. Because it's okay if you do. It's okay. Yeah. We're not dunking on you for liking them, we're just saying that... We didn't. We didn't like them. And that doesn't I mean, take away your love. No, I already had seen Love Actually, and which know. is why I made you watch it, because do you ever do the thing where mm, you kind of just want to see your loved one watch something that you know they're going <laughs> You struggle to say loved one, which is my favorite part of this. <laughs> I was trying to Have like, you ever... Your I was about to say my favorite person, one? but like that's the same. Have you ever I wanted just... to have like someone you care about react to something? Yeah, yeah. that you know they're yeah. gonna hate. In fact, they have. That's an entire genre of YouTube videos. Is it? Oh, <laughs> yes. I thought I made that up. No, you you well, did actually. Well, I've seen Love Actually, and I did mm-hmm. not. I did not care for it. And so when it came up on Netflix, I was like, I want to watch her. You made me stop doing what I was doing to watch it because you're like this. Re- requires your full undivided attention. Because I don't think it's going to be as it was effective five if hours you're also long. playing a game. First of all, yeah, it's a million it's years It's five long. hours long. Um, I I despise it. Um, there are people who really love that th- movie. That's, that's fine. Good. Love actually... It happened. It, it, it happened? I will say the, the good thing about Love Actually is it has a lot of actors that it I like. It does have a big cast. It has a really big cast. Mm-hmm. And, um, Despicable. Despicable <laughs> film. You hate it so I much. hate it. Um, I, I also, like a lot of really bad movies, so it's not a judge of you as a person no, if you love that movie. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, you'd have to be a monster to define someone by their, their taste in media. Actually, no. No, I take that back. All right, but, like, harmless things. Sure. Harmless things. Yeah. If you like harmless things, whatever. But if you, yeah, if you're, just cut all this out. It's all bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then we also watched the um, the Christmas the first, Prince. The uh, Christmas Prince. It's and, not the Christmas Prince. Oh, I'm sorry. A there Christ- are many, a and this Christmas is Prince. a Christmas Prince. Yeah. Which is, the first one came out mm-hmm. last year on Netflix. If you are in any capacity in filmmaking, whether it's in camera work or editing or scripting or anything, you need to watch A Christmas Prince That's and why I love, A Christmas yeah. Prince too. It is incredible. I, if, you, if you worked on this film, shout out to you because there are so many continuity issues in that movie. But like... It, it, Harmless ones. But it's like, a shout out to you because you like... I think we've all been at this point in our life, and maybe it's been, like, a project that doesn't end up on Netflix. Yeah. We've all been in a project that we know it's is, bad. is a bad project. But look. And that, like, we all the people to... in charge maybe don't really know what they're doing, yeah. and that, like, everything's gone wrong. And working on those projects can actually be really, really fun, and you could still do a really, really good job on that. So if you worked on The Christmas Prince, you probably did a f- fantastic job. All this but. to say, there's a lot of... It's very <laughs> yeah. fun to watch these movies because there will be scenes where, like, 
especially in costuming. Yeah, there'll the be wardrobe's scenes where like uh, a shirt is rolled all the way up to here, and then in the very next shot, it's like right here again. Or like there's a shot when they're at the ball where it's very clear that they've done a couple of takes because she walks into the room and her dress is all is really wrinkled up. because of... she looks like she got diddled. <laughs> like that's her dress is all wrinkled from where his legs are hitting her dress and then like literally a millisecond later in a slightly different shot it's perfect again there are so many things just because i remotely work in film i notice them but it's and i'm also, just like what happened you, you don't have to work in film no, no, to no, notice no, no, them because no. they're not, not subtle and but honestly it's fun to watch it, it for that reason. but also those are the least baffling things about the film there are so many crowd shots where people are just deadpan staring into it's yeah. The camera like this. But also just like the premises, everything about those films. I love it. I They're baffling and I am charmed by them because mm. I love a Hallmark Christmas movie. I love it. I Don't love, love it. I love trash. I love it. And I love, I love it. Now, Love Actually is, oh. t- is not that okay. because Love Actually had a budget. Oh, I see. So that's Love Actually. Difference. You like these other ones because they're trying in earnest. Yeah, I am. I see. And also, you can tell when you watch Love Actually that everyone in there doesn't want to be there, and they know that it's, like, a sinking ship and that they despise it. You can tell. Every actor is, like, has just, is seeping hatred and exhaustion. I'm listening to your seeping hatred for this, and it's a joy. Well, like, you can tell, though. They're done. I want to hear your reviews for other things that you hate. Like, I just want you to make a series of videos oh, of things that you... That's just, horrible, though. I don't want to be, like... It's uh, fun to listen to for me. I can talk about things party. I love, though. I'd rather do that. I'm right here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Um, well, thank you. It's Christmas. But yeah, I, I did love the Christmas Prince. Even ah, though, Christmas a Prince. A Christmas Prince. Even though they are garbage. You know. Yeah, I had fun. We we were like, I can't remember the last time I've laughed so much at a movie. The second one? Oh boy. I, so I, good. I actually fell out of my chair and I had, I've not had this in a long time. You had an I, asthma attack. No, well, that and also like you laugh so hard that your gut hurts yeah. and I can't remember the last time that happened to oh, me. One of the other best things about A Christmas Prince 2 is that they just completely recast the main character and they keep gag. Draw, they keep drawing attention to it. They're like, oh, they keep he feels trying so to make different it a gag. Now. It's just a completely different actor who doesn't look anything. And he remotely. like his personality is also different. And he's. I a highly nightmare. recommend if you're at a family function this Christmas and you are just like dead eyed looking for an escape from your relatives who are making you a little bonkers. I would highly suggest throwing this on Netflix and just really burrowing yourself into the plot and visuals because you can lose quickly a good four hours and by that time you're it's gone time to go to late night christmas eve mass and then you get to get the <laughs> hell out of there <laughs> was that a little too it was very personal it was very personal. it was very personal for you well, um yeah but yeah so we've been watching good christmas movies and also those ones um because you really wanted me to Watch Love Actually. It was fun for me as a third party. Yeah. It was, you know, what was really wild to me about it Mm -hmm. was the premise of it being like a post 9-11 feel good about every... It's literally framed by this. The... the, I, Go ahead. I don't. I, you know what though? You're. I've. I've, tra- I've. been trapped in this thing now. Where now I want to talk about how much I hate <laughs> that movie. It opens with like it just nine eleven just happened. And, and they like, talk about they it. They talk about nine eleven just happening and about like, but there's still love in there. There's still love and love, and that's like it. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me so mad having actually like I. There's so much bad nine eleven media, and this is probably up there mm-hmm. in terms mm-hmm. of like preying on these weird American feelings post 9-11. I, I mean, full, di- full disclosure, I was there. <laughs> like, I was there and lost friends and family. I'm from that area and was like, I saw it happen not on TV. Wow, we're like, we're doing like, what we're, a we're going, Christmas yeah, special this honestly, is. but, so anyhow, I'm like very critical of any media from that I'm, time that I touches think on it. Um, but yeah, so, woof, love actually um, real bad, but also, like, not fun bad. Christmas Prince? A Christmas Prince? A Christmas Prince. A Christmas Prince. Yes. And A Christmas Prince 
the royal wedding, not a Christmas prince too. A Christmas prince, the royal wedding. Is it a royal engagement? I don't. I think know. it's a royal wedding. Okay. Because they're already engaged. True. She got engaged at the end of one. She got engaged. She got engaged, yeah. and then she blogged about it on Amber's blog. On Amber's blog, <laughs> and um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So watch those. I mean, if you haven't watched them, because they're they'll make you smile. Maybe. Not like this. No, <laughs> not not like our fun romp that we're having. Well. Um, we love you all so much. And on that Is note, that how we're ending it? Is that is, imagine? I'm just like, well, yeah. bye everybody. Wow. We're going to have another video up in a couple days where mm-hmm. we do questions because we've kind of, we're going to try to listen. We change things all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to any of what we do. No. But we've decided we're going to try to do uh, like once a week question video and once a week this kind of video. Um, so look forward to that. Where we yeah, I know. Questions. Go for it. What does this stand? What is this? I feel very... I feel very judged right now. What is this? I don't know. Go for it. My body crunched into it. All of a sudden, you're like a Hunger Games judge. You've been watching... I have been been watching watching Hunger Hunger Games. Games. Yeah. You've been watching that. Now, are there even judges, I thought? There are judges at one point because they have to do basically what is... I don't think they call it an audition, but they're showing the judges oh, right. how they what wanna, their skills they and they get need the to money. gauge. They need to gauge both their skill set for giving them a rank of estimated skill and also they need to be like, please give me money so I don't die in the right. games. I've picked a lot up about that franchise for me via osmosis. Yeah. But yeah, like so they have to they do like a demo reel essentially of well, like they're in person. They're like, here's how far I can run. Yeah. Here's how shoot I can arrow. Here's how lift. Yeah, they're, they're like, this is, I'm a good murderer. So, like... <laughs> Look at me. So, if you, like, send murderer. your branded content to me, I can but kill people spon- with Give it. me that sponsored yeah. post. It's ba- yeah, it's hell YouTube is what the Hunger Games are. Whoa! I mean... <laughs> okay. But, yeah, Okay, so. happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs> happy Hunger Games. <laughs> and may the, the Yules ever be tied... In your, May the Yules ever be gay. It was right in, there. In your quadrant. May the Yules ever be gay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really how we're going to say goodbye? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Great. Good. I actually love that episode. What? See you next time. <laughs>